Elizabeth Murray, Red Shoe, 1996. Elizabeth Murray was one of America's great painters. Her paintings became more and more sculptural, and we asked her if she would like to come think about making an actual sculpture for the campus, and she said she was willing to give it a try. She chose this grove on the edge of campus because the scale of it is smaller than lots of others. It's never been watered regularly, so these trees are smaller. And she liked that idea because it could make something feel bigger in the grove. Elizabeth has been highly influenced by Disney films, fairy tales. She uses everyday objects. Shoes are an element for her. A shoe is something that we all know. It references not only the old woman who lived in the shoe, um, especially in this kind of fantastical form with this yellow lace coming running down out of the eyelet, um, but it's running to the edge of the campus where there are cars, you know, going zooming by all the time, and you find shoes occasionally, or one shoe, a shoe, by the side of the road. And one, it causes one to wonder, where's the other one? So you're sort of inclined to figure out some kind of narrative. And this shoe that she made out of wood is climbable. Children can climb up onto, into, and discover how it was made or just fool around. It's up on its toe with these wood, wooden forms, sort of jewel-like forms that are spitting out from under it as it runs along. This was a sort of natural evolution in Elizabeth's work. As her paintings became more and more dimensional, they wanted to literally escape the wall. This work is the farthest she ever went towards sculpture and it gave her reason to turn back to painting it was an experiment, and she was a tough critic of her own work. Elizabeth was a wonderfully direct and fearless artist, and this sculpture with its surrounding rocks, as she called them, has a sense of fragility and of being handmade that is unique to the collection. <laughs> ¶¶